another blog, another power walk with the dog, another trainer on my shoulder, repping out P&I, my sponsors, supplements, who always provided me with everything I need. So it's post comp number two day. Yes. So the day after the second show of the year, the PCA Welsh. Like I said, if you've been watching some of my blogs, you would have seen what I've done. I, obviously, you haven't watched them yet because I haven't put them up. So I'm going to put all these up at the same time. Sorry a little bit. Sorry for talking a bit of a bull today. But I'm still in blow mode. I'm still in comp prep, so the head's a little bit foggy. So anyway, you saw the protocols we did. The carbon down, the water loading, the cutting the sodium, and then the junk loading for the two hour period, the night before the show, keeping the carbs out and the water out for the day of the show, and then another junk meal on McDonald's, two hours, hour and a half to two hours before showtime. So yesterday, Last week was a trial run. Yesterday was actually the test. We did everything the same. Mimicked the same week. Deep tissue massage the same time. Obviously of the week. Steam room therapy. Started the, the uh, carbon down process the same. The water loading, vitamin C. The junk loading the night before the two hours. Oh, we did change it up slightly. Um, we used muffins, jam and banana as, along with the, the dime bar tart for the second meal sitting and then we used the dime bar tart, um, some brownies um, for the third sitting obviously with the chicken, or the, sorry the turkey, the banana and the um, peanut butter and the wine um, just because uh, we, we tried to play around with things that, things that I could eat last week the, I found the muffins too too dry but when I mixed them all together with the jam and the banana it was easy to eat and actually this time this the, the third meal sit in which was obviously like I just mentioned the brownies that's what was making my stomach heavy so what we're gonna do I think moving forward into the next shows is is take them out because the muffins are so much easier to eat but anyway like I said yesterday was a test we did exactly the same for this week and it went down perfectly peaked right we do have a formula now definitely worked for me the feedback i had was incredible from everyone who was there good morning good morning bikers doing this stuff like me doing the power walking so like i said it peaked perfectly the judges said it's the best i've ever looked and uh so much tighter drier fuller from the last show which is bizarre because obviously last show we didn't do anything different but I was sweating up on stage yesterday the weather was twice as hot I didn't sweat once which was our concern because last week when I did meet up with James and we were pumping up I, I was kind of like uh, sweating a little bit so that was always in our mind but yesterday I woke up yesterday morning went to the gym for a quick little shower and have a look how I looked I was a little bit smoother not bad but a little bit smoother than I'd been prior to doing the junk load but I knew I had the rest of the day to dry out I kept sipping water, I cut my water obviously 7pm the night before but I didn't stop drinking like I did last week I just sipped and I mean just wet my mouth and that allowed me to continue to go to the toilet all day yesterday I was back and forth the loo and every time we looked and I was checking about every hour or so I was just getting drier and tighter the coach James Luanne was very happy, so I was happy, and I think it just it uh, it did right perfectly. It really peaked at the right time. Um, I came second in my class, class four, which I was a little bit gutted about first when I come off stage because we all want to win, and I had a little bit of a stop on thinking, oh, I'm not doing the British, although I got the invite for the PC British, because if I can't win a local class, and then my coach come out. And he had a little bit of word to me, he's like, look, you look the best you've ever looked. You know, you're incredible up there. Your pausing's better, your legs are through more, you're drier, you're sharper. The guy I beat you is just more genetically put together. 
got a beautiful flow and he'd probably go on to to do very well to British and be a contender for number one. And I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. And then I sat down in the crowd, watched the overall, and watched the guy take the class, Jordan Grooms, who uh, beat me, obviously, in the class four. He took the overall. And he looked incredible. And he can look better. He's not at his peak. But he's just got so much genetic potential. Really flow and put together. Nice full muscle bellies. Nice waist. And from what I heard, and the feedback I had, it was quite close. You know, in terms of I was matching him on some shots and I've looked at pictures. But again, I wanted to go into yesterday with the intention of just bringing that up because I have, I was very disappointed last show in, um, even if I had won my class, that I didn't really present that look, you know, and it's disappointing because everyone's there, the well shows, and they all want to see it, got a lot of support, and I'm just not peeking right and nailing it. So my, my goal was, if I can walk away and think, do you know what? That's what I wanted to present. Regardless if I win, lose, or draw, the better man beat me on the day, and I can walk away happy, and I did. So I walked away happy, feeling very positive. Like I said, the guy took the overall, which makes me think maybe I would have been a contender, um, and he's probably going to win the British. Oh, he's definitely going to be a, a record. I'm, I actually had a couple of judges message me saying, you know, good luck at the British and you're going to be a contender too. So that definitely makes things a little bit more positive for me. And like I said, we brought that luck the last show three weeks ago. I walked out with my head down, a little bit embarrassed to be honest, which is stupid, I know, but that's just me. Not really wanting to talk to many people you know, keep my head down, trying to avoid conversation when people ask me how the show went. Because I really wanted to win, but I really wanted to bring it to. But yesterday I walked out confidently. I walked out happy with what we presented and what we brought. Um, I'm proud, to be honest, at what I've achieved in the last few weeks. You know, in terms of the extra level of condition, the deep separation from my quads, which has been a struggle this year for some reason. It's still not 100%, but it's better. And we've got two more weeks now to bring it right or we'll improve it again. And it might not still be where we want it, but that's when we move forward into next year, you know, and the year after and just keep progressing. So like I said, the plan went to plan, peaked right. As you can see, I'm still a bit hiked up. It's less, it's, it's 6.30 in the morning and I'm up doing my power walking with the pooch. Just getting the metabolism firing, trying to control that rebound so I can get back on track. Um, and obviously I've got a four to shoot later on, which there'll be a lot of squeezing, a lot of holding. And that'll definitely um, help keep my water rebound down as well. Um, I'm looking forward to, obviously, I think we're just going to mimic the same for the NAB of Britain. Um, a week today, I've been Southport and I'm really looking forward to that show. I love... I love the Southport show. I love all the, um, the PCA being great though. Incredible, uh, incredible athletes, incredible team of people working to try and deliver the best. I really like the NABA show. I like the, PC, uh, the NABA finals. It's nice to see all the promoters and people involved. So uh, it's gonna be another good week of grind. So I will do some more blogs. Um, and I will be, uh, obviously if I'm just mimicking the same, maybe I can find someone else to chat about. Peace out, bull more baby, hashtag that, boom. Good morning. It is Wednesday, the 14th of June, just three days after the PCA British final, the last show of the season, fourth show in a row. Obviously, if you've uh, seen some of my blogs, you would have known how the last three went. Last blog I did was after the NAB Britain. Um, 
which was last week and obviously I came fifth. I was happy with the look I brought. I made the PCA British final. Sunday just gone. Um, decided to come in a little bit fuller. So didn't allow my weight to drop too much through the week. Control the rebound after the nab written. And then instead of taping the carbs down like we've done previously, we kind of kept the carbs at a nice level so we were a little bit fuller. A little bit heavier starting the loading, the junk loading, three pound heavier. And the result was a fuller look on stage. Um, maybe not quite as tight as we was in that of Britain, but definitely fuller. Um, a little bit of a timing issue with food, where I tended to uh, eat a little bit too close to stage. So the food was just stuck in my stomach. Um, didn't digest in time really. But again, another lesson learned. Um, came second anyway, in a good lineup. Um, Jordan Coombs, the guy, beat me at the PCA Welsh, beat me again. He looked so much better, so much improved. I think I pushed him to bring his better physique. He obviously did the Nab of Britain as well, but he was in class four. I'm in class three in the Nab. And I'm in uh, class four in the PCA. So, um, good result. Good end to the season. Like I said, second place in the Nab of the PCA British. And now we're going to close it down. Um, my weight, bring my weight back down. A little bit of rebound after the PCA British. We bounced up actually, it was the first time I was able the next day to go for a nice breakfast and enjoy some food. But the result was that from that was a 11 pound rebound. So I was back on my zero carbs yesterday. Kept the carb cardio in. Legs as usual, post comp. Um, woke up this morning, eight pounds down which is great. We'll throw in a little bit more carbohydrates today. Um, not, not many because I still want to get my weight down a little bit more. So then hopefully Thursday, which will be tomorrow, I can start my off-season diet and training. So then we can have a good off-season, good 12 months now before we start prepping again. So 12 solid months of lean gain before we start prepping, I think, for the PCA Welsh next, next October and we're going to do the NAB England in October as well so good solid 12 months working on what I need to work on bringing up lacking body parts and bringing a more complete package to the stage and hopefully get that title like I said it's been a good season I'm happy to close it down I'm thankful for all the support I've had from my coach sponsors family and friends and I'm ready to rock and enjoy some off-season training, food, and get back to normality, whatever that is. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy these vlogs. I'll keep them going. Off-season training videos to come. Hashtag bull mode. Peace out, baby.